All right, guys, welcome. So here we are, Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, um, the trailer for this game is actually what motivated me to, you know, play the first game. I never even heard of Dragon's Dogma until we uh, seen the trailer for this game. Uh, so this has been one we've been looking forward to for a really, really long time. We just beat the first game on the channel maybe about a month ago. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to get into this. I already went ahead and got all the graphic settings. Everything should be good. I cranked everything to maximum, so hopefully my PC will be able to handle it. <laughs> I got ray tracing and everything on, so we'll see how good this game looks. Uh, but I'm excited, guys. I don't know exactly what class I want to play yet. I'm still between a mage. Uh, I usually go like stealth, um, like a rogue um, style gameplay every time I play a game. You know, I, I go with daggers. That's the, the fast, the speed, the dodge, and that's usually the way I like to roll. Um, but I I, I've been wanting to like try new things as of late. So we like, you know, uh, games like Shrouded and things, we tried playing a mage. So I'm kind of on the fence of whether we're going to go with a mage or if we're going to do, um, you know, like the regular like roguey build. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but let's get in. Let's do some character creation. I know in Dragon Dogma, it's pretty easy to swap back and forth between the um, vocations. So if this game is anything like the first one, uh, then it won't really matter. You know, we could kind of try out everything. And honestly, uh, it's kind of good to try out other vocations because you can unlock the augmentations. Uh, at least that's how it was in the first game. You could like unlock the warrior augmentations and apply them to like a, a rogue and make yourself like have more health and things like that. I don't, I'm pretty sure though. It's probably the same on this one, but uh, yeah, guys, let's, let's get this going. I appreciate you guys. Remember if you do want this to be a full series, just smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below and we'll keep it rolling. All right, let's do this. Uh, <clears throat> it's exactly the same as the first one. All right, cool. Let's go be Dragon's Dogma hype again. Gotta leave after char creation though. Downloading mine myself happy crying face. Wishing you a lot of fun with this one brother. Long as our favorite man suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last his majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal May fealty! Your no Majesty, eternal. of how long I have awaited this moment! Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Dragon Throne, chosen by the Dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope 
that their allegiance reign will never end. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Long live the sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Korf, thank you so much for the super chat too, brother. I really appreciate it. And uh, Mr. Wilhelm, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the fam. I've not done anything. I didn't make any character stuff. I haven't done anything. This is my first look at the game. Is that the court mage or something like that? one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Okay, so you can select a uh, prisoner, prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank slate. Alright, let me see. Is it you? No? Oh, shit. It's hard to say. They actually got like a, like a lion race. The pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon. Are you the one then? Yo, the lion people look so dope. Speak up, you good for nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do is it you? No, ah, it must be you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut an aha. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. We'll go hooded. We'll try to we'll try to make my character look like me as much as possible. We'll see what the different races and stuff. Okay, so yeah, they got the uh, base body types. The lion people do look super cool, though, man. I don't know. So I want to be just like a normal. Yeah, like a normal build like this would be okay. Lion Brian, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know this. Let me see. So I'll tell you now, the character customizations. Definitely pretty good compared to the first game. Only only if I had a jaw like that, right? Uh, let's see. So let me see if I could pre- Oh, and then you click on that and then there's different ones inside them. Oh, man. Yo, there's a, lot, there's a lot of presets, dude. Just trying to find a good starter face. That's pretty much it right there, chat, right? We'll just, we'll just be an old ass wizard. The time wizard. Dude's hair is actually awesome. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the graphics in this game are pretty dope. Just in the character creation, it's pretty sick. Um, 
Let me see. If, if we go with this dude's face, if we can soften his jaw features a little bit. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe I should have created my character beforehand, chat. It's quite overwhelming. Like you pick a face, then there's faces in the faces, and then yeah, you you could literally spend hours doing this. Um, yeah, this guy's got some wicked, wicked like strong facial features that I, that don't exist in my life, so. Misty with the 19 months. Thank you so much. Apparently being a lion man changes the story in, in, in a good way. Nah, guys. So, so for those of you guys that really like character creation, there is a lot going on here um, when it comes to presets. <laughs> Definitely why the game, the option was there before the game released. 100% dude. All right. Um, all right, we gotta pick. We gotta figure something. Out. We gotta pick something, chat. We gotta pick something. Um, what was that other one? That I might just pick a guy that looks absolutely nothing like me, and we're just gonna make him look like a straight up badass. What the hell was that like? It wasn't this guy, right? No. This guy looks like fucking Jesus. We're just gonna go cat guy because that'll make my life way easier. And now we're just gonna make ourselves look badass as hell. Yo, look at the detail on it. That is crazy, dude. Alright, so then can we select the base head? Okay, so you can like customize it further. So let's check the uh the fur types. You could be like extra furry, not as furry. Uh I do like the stripes over the dots. Oh damn. Let me change the the hair types before I uh yeah, there's so many different colors. I wanna change my hair my hair really quick. So I don't wanna be too I don't want the fur to be too dark. I feel like it kills a lot of the uh, 
the detail. You know what I mean? Change my hair really quick. Jesus Christmas. <laughs> we got that Rock Lee. Hey, um, also, I want to thank Corv with the seven months, Misty again with the 19 months. Happy birthday. I appreciate the love. And then Brandon with the 21, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love, dude. Yeah, I'm excited to see what this is going to be about, guys. So for the hair, we need some, I wouldn't mind something pinned back like that. That actually looks kind of dope with the braids and shit. So what is that? 23. Um, 24 is actually pretty fire, too. So we're not gonna worry about our root colors or our tip colors, chat. That's that's a that's a little much for me. Uh, change up the facial hair. See the braided beard looks sick. Goes along with the uh, the braided hairdo that we got. I want to see if we could. Whoop. Eyes. We can just go straight closed on it. Now we'll leave it. We'll leave it kind of open. Yeah, we'll leave it kind of open. Since so like the scar like messed up our our eye a bit but how do you change the eye color there it is oh look at those yeah I like the those eyes are sick Damn. Guys, there's so much going on here. It's actually kind of it's actually kind of crazy. Look at these Oh my god, that looks so sick. This is probably one of the most in-depth character creations I've seen. Our guy looks like he's been around. For sure. Teeth. Oh shit, that's dope. So <laughs> you can <laughs> No way guys. You can literally knock out some teeth. We can make good old gummy. That that's insanity, dude. Claw colors. Yeah, I don't mind the claws being dark. Okay. So, we'll roll with this right now. I don't know if you could change the way your character looks once you start the game. Um, but it, it is what it is. So now we're going to go... Uh, Base head, detail, customization, we'll go vocation. No, we're going to be, uh, damn, chat. This class, this, this character vibes with like a, like a, a thief. 
I missed the whole start of the stream. Saw you doing this and went back and watched it and still made it back in time rolling <laughs> on the floor laughing LFG. Yo, Hope it's a great game. We're, we're going to be here for a little bit, dude. All right. Uh, but Kenneth, the super chat. Thank you so much, man. And reason, thank you. Yeah, we're, we're, we're moving quick, guys. We're moving quick as I can. Um, major thief, guys. Yeah, it says they can be changed later. Let's start off as a thief. We'll start off as a thief. Oh. Single save slot B. Absolutely no going back on choices or decisions. No quest markers or guide points either. Have to sleuth out where to go by listening to NPCs. Very excited to get lost with you. A Cheers of joy. Thank you, thank you. Hey, hey I, I don't know about all that. That's pretty hardcore, man. All right, let's test the voice. <gasps> Okay. somber shoulder one all right let's get it going guys let's get it going our name is gonna be um we're gonna be we're gonna be lying brian <laughs> lion hard Yo, that actually does that actually sounds kind of cool, dude. Lionard. Actually, yo, that actually sounds pretty cool, dude. I ain't even lied. I like that. I like that. Our moniker will be. What the hell's a moniker? We don't want to be Ace. Babs, Bailey, Caraway, Dale. What the hell is a moniker, Chaz? I got like a last name? We could be Lionard Q. Or Saber. Sabina. Saffron. Sage. I mean, this shit doesn't really matter. Tiger! That's so cliche. Whatever, dude. We'll be lying. <laughs> oh, we'll be, uh... Let's get in our prime here, chat. We'll go back in time a couple of years. We'll be 31. You know, we'll be 30 again. That's what the NPCs call me. They'll call me Tiger. All right, I'm with it. All right, let's do it. Let's play the damn game, chat. Let's play the game. I feel like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here. And you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Uh, 
Uh, one or more add-ons, you gain access to them as you progress through the game. Wow, okay. So the character animations feel good. Graphically, this game is beautiful. Is this the is this the the the, the Skyrim we've all been waiting for, guys? Bro, what the? Oh, that's another cat, dude. My cat dude looks way cooler than his. Okay, so we're obviously a slave working in the next excavation camp. Do your injuries pain you? Pray. Do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, game has been running perfect. I haven't had any frames or anything. Like that. And I got the game cranked to maximum. So. I to turn I to it. But we'll see once we get out of this. Alright, so this guy's supposed to be leading me. Time for you to get to work. Let's do it, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to work. Pick up a boulder. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay. This is our life champ. This, this is the game. Just so you guys didn't know. Uh... All right, nice. So we got a lantern. God damn, that's a big ass boulder, dude. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap, or oh, 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 that poses a hindrance to you. So you can even jump with the boulder. Yeah, this is it, guys. This is the game. You, uh, you're you working in an excavation camp prison. Here's your rock, dude. Good job well done. Now the next step is to... Pay me? What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Nah, dude. That's exactly what we should not do. We should definitely go back. What is this commotion? See, this dude's about to get us in trouble. be no hero just lay on the ground and pretend to be dead that's 
swift strikes are a thief's greatest weapon. Watch for an opening, then press your foe till they are overwhelmed. Throw a lock on. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to awesome. be attacks. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons for the clever combatants. Targeted strikes. I would recommend clinging to your friend. So in this one, you can even throw items. <laughs> All right. So. Oh. No, I'm playing on PC. I'm just using an Xbox controller. Dude, that dude jumped without hesitation. <laughs> no one could survive a fall from this height, not even a pawn. That griffin looks sick.
Well, someone's for our ride. Yo, did that other dude survive? Follow me home, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? See what happened was a griffin appears one moment and falls the next and now you stand before me was it you then the one who was riding on its back it is a wonder you survived accompany me to the stronghold we'll treat your wounds and hear your story yo why did dude get swallowed up by the water like that Hold on, bro. We got a loot on the way. We can't just... Alright, so I just got some kind of drop. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from, anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Here we go. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not... Oh, how to loot, dude? Have you beheld the dragon as yet? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that tis a beast e'er more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We can but hope that the Sovereign Damn. will rid us of the Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. Already level two, baby. Bro, let me borrow like a little bit of your armor or something, dude. He could he could give me a little piece. Does she don't want to shot she's the one that shot down the Welcome, Griffin, Arisen. right? We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? 
They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. So I'm trying to think, what kind of pawn do I want? Um... Do we want a warrior? Do we want a mage or an archer? I feel like the archers are really nice to have. I was thinking about a mage too. <sighs> but we could always just get another mage. This is like our main pawn, I believe, right? Like the one that like levels up with me. Yeah, maybe maybe we could have our main pawn be a mage. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a mage. This is going to be Yen. Kind-hearted, calm, simple, straightforward. Yeah, it should be straightforward. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated. 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 The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. There are more who can yet be saved. 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 It seems the rain has abated. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Danger might lurk anywhere. Where every shadow and mind the ceiling. Okay, we'll go Jaunty too. Her name will be, uh, how do you spell Yennefer? Is it Jen? No, I feel like it's, it's I feel like it's short. Cause it's not Jennifer. Is it Yennefer? Oh, it is a Y, isn't it? Polly? All right, I got you guys. It is what it is. It's, it's got it's got to, it. I get it. It's got to be Polly. I got it. It'll be Polly Pat. Or Polly Pan Pan. Yeah, there it is. Polly Pan Pan. There's no other way, dude. It's the it's the it's the way it's got to be Polly Pie. There's no pie. Can you really pick pie? It's, it's definitely got it. Or poly pickle? <laughs> poly pickle or poly pie, chat? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that poly. I'm not feeling the poly pie. No, that, that it's not what I meant like that, chat. Like I'm, I meant like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the name. You know what I mean? You, you stop being nasty, chat. All right, we'll be Polly Pie. 
She's a mage. Finalized. Yes. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. Okay. My kind is duty bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. That dude's sort of sick. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. All right, well, getting armor That's... and stuff would be nice. There's no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. So we got a quartermaster over there, store, traders. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Alright, so I want to check out some of these stores here. Or... So this guy here looks like well, this not my duty. Hail. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. Okay, so this guy sells lantern oil, which obviously we'll need for our lantern. Modest camping kit, a kit that can be set up at uh, suitable locations. Inexpensive, lightweight, but uh liable to collapse if attacked by monsters. Um a smoke beacon that emits a scent. Uh, enticing to harpies when lit in a certain location any harpies within range will flock near uh, we got different extracts a ring and beautiful power slightly increases the maximum amount of weight that we can carry all right so how much i got 200 gold um well, hope to see you again here, we Lord. need to get the basic necessities first Nothing caught your eye that's a shame let's hope there's all uh yeah. that's our coin next time Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll <coughs> find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Okay, so staying at an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. Also recovers the loss gauge, um, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates uh, when taking damage. When resting in an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if need to set out a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay... Um, at the ends regularly to avoid risks uh, when traveling far afield. Okay, cool, cool. So we're not going to rest yet. Um, Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. So this is the end, dude. This doesn't even look comfortable. Those are wooden beds. All right. I don't know if they have a quartermaster in this camp. Here we go. 
Ganda? I find goods for sale. Fancy a Ganda? I find goods for sale. Okay, here we go. So they sell all different types of weapons. Um, we're looking for just basic armor. Ooh, look at the mask, dude. 283 gold? The dyed mask is super cool. Uh, it's got magic. It's got a bit more defense. Uh, let me see here. Brick and vest. It's got some decent defense. Explore boots. Dude, this is it's gonna cost me so much money. It's it's gonna be like a thousand gold just to get a full set of gear. I don't have anything we could sell yet. Uh like this draw uh restore of common land consuming it. Oh, that's a health potion. We got some apples that we got off those goblins, which aren't worth really anything. All right, let's see if there's any missions or quests Fucking or something lies. we could do around here to make some money. Do you need to play the first game to play this? Uh, so far, it does not seem like it. Going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. Okay, so the game's not really giving me a choice to do much of anything other than go to sleep right now. Alright, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll grab a nap. Foy there. You seem well tired. My pa always used to say, I... Being armed is better. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you... I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Alright, so let's grab some sleep. Uh, one or more... Yep, okay. Okay, so Polly leveled up. So I don't see any like quest icons or anything here. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. No, dude, I'm not. I ain't got no money. I'm not hiring you, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Hopefully, we can make some money on the road. Says there's a ch chest. Hey, oh, you a soldier? To be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece, if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. Oh, there are no quest marks in the game? We've had <coughs> to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. Yeah, we could do Give this. My thanks. And Akados as well, I'm sure. Okay, so set and priority quest. Um, warning regarding quest progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Oh, shit. Um... Talking, taking on multiple quests at once comes with a risk of being unable to act in time, uh, and this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quest and taking on new ones. All right, yeah. So we must make haste if we are to arrive in time to assist. All right, well, let's let's set that one as our priority. 
I'll say if can I check the map? Oh yeah, here we go. I don't know how big the okay. Damn, look how far we are from the excavation site. All right. Wonder how big the map is in this game. Like it looked pretty big. Okay, pawn commands. There are four commands that Arisen can direct to the pawn. Yes, yeah, he go wait to me and help. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> Damn, Polly. My magic's are at your disposal. The map is four times the size of the first game. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, so we got rocks here. Looks like there actually might be some chests down that way. Right now we're super, super weak, so we're kind of in the market for any kind of gold money. This looks like it might be a goblin camp. It would not be unwelcome for an ally to appear for once. You know, Polly just shredded those goblins, dude. Makes see why did I have to go with a freaking She's way stronger than we are. Raise it, Kate, and thank you for the 19 no months. To the thrill of victory. Oh shit, that was... I cannot help but feel indomitable. So let me see. Can you break these barrels for loot? Just that time we pressed on, yep. didn't you say, Master? I don't know if any of this stuff's even Excellent. gonna be worth it. Just what I was hoping for. Now, can you change the vocation of your uh, of your pawn following you? Yeah, Val, that shit is that shit was way too annoying for me, man. I'm telling you, by the time you get to like new game plus four, dude, you're gonna be so over it. <laughs> it's so over it. <coughs> Uh, but again, Raging Cajun with the 19. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the love. And IR coming in, dropping 10 gifted on the channel. Everybody receives one of those memberships. Welcome to the fam. She's fighting. Oh, shit. We actually lost our balance there.
Did I just pick up 200 gold off that goblin? Um, I got 1400 gold. Okay, yeah. We're, we're making some crazy money right now somehow. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get paid from this quest too that we're doing. Fucking harpies. Yep. Yeah, put down. Yo, help me, help me. Where is she? Oh, shit. I grabbed onto it so it didn't drop me. Well, we may not die in battle. Far far from being there we go. Shit, it's got knocked out by that damn harpy song. We could buy a bow. I, I don't, oh shit. Polly, knock. I'm, I'm waiting for Polly to knock one down. Fire, fire, there it is. What took you so long to do that the first, like? Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. Tim, thank you so much for someday. the five gifted, brother. Everybody receive one of the memberships. Welcome to the fam. Don't we have a report to make, Master? Yeah, you can get extra pawns. I don't know if I can get them now or what. Um, right now, I'm just running the two just so we can get used to how... Because once you start bringing more people in, kind of complicates things and wa waters down the combat a little bit. Like, I want to kind of focus and make sure that I'm building my team. Because I don't even know if, what class I want to play. I was thinking about switching my vocation real quick. Trying out a bunch of things early game before I really start investing money into gear. I'd hasten home were this not my duty. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. 
It's a goodly deed we've done. Now Sir Ricardo can return to his duty in good health. So the, they actually want me to join? He thinks the troops will get more out of their training if they had a soldier of your caliber to guide them. With any luck, the instructors in the training ground here will have a cardo bat already year long. All right, so let me go to the. I want to go to the the uh, in here because I think you can literally switch your class. Spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, yep. come see me anytime. Vocation, uh, change vocation. Okay, and um. So we need DCP is the the currency for it. So we already ranked two on Thief too, which is not bad. Um, we have weapon skills that we could buy here. Oh, look at that! And kindled blades. So this uh, brings da daggers together to ignite them, putting them on fire. That is sick. Uh, we got Shadow Cloak. Oh, that is sick, too. That's... <laughs> Helm Splitter. Oh. Powder Charge. Yeah, so right now we got Biting Wind, um, but yo, I, I do, I always play a, a Thief and a Rogue. Um, that's why I was okay with checking out other things, but that Fire Blade and the Shadow Cloak looks so, so dope. Um, so these are our uh, core skills. Um, oh, so this is the same ability from the first game, uh, Scarlet Kisses. Controlled Fall, and then Augments is subtle. Uh, subtlety decrease the likelihood of being targeted by foes. So then we got mage here. Uh, I'm not saying that thief is bad. No, no, no. That's the thing. I'm not saying the thief is bad. I just it feels a lot like the first game, and I'm like, man, do I wanna? So I want to try something else just just to because I tried no other skills or anything when we played Dragon Dogma one. I literally started off as my my thief and I played or the assassin and I played that throughout the whole game. I never tried anything else. So I'm like, maybe we should try other things too. But this is a hundred. But if I buy it now, I don't have to buy it again, right, guys? So, fuck it, we'll see. Incantations. Okay. Oh wow, so it actually gave me, did it give me free gear? For that too? It did. That's sick. Okay, so yeah, once you buy it, you don't have to buy it again. Awesome. And then, let me see. So let's check out what skills do we have right now is the mage. We have this fire spell. Oh, that's sick. Okay, so we already have that. Um, oh, that's like a huge lightning thing. That's pretty sick, too. Uh, focus bolt. Let me know how many augments. So we'll grab this core skill here, focus bolt. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try out the mage a little bit too. Do come again. This little hat is kind of not the answer though. I'm not feeling the hat too much. <laughs> I'm not feeling the hat, dude. 
hold on, stick my head where We're running low on everything. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock, and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid, of course. Oh, yeah, we're, we're down. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note, and he'll take care of the rest. Okay, so this game is very, very, um, as you guys said, it's very immersive in the way of there's no quest markers. Like, you kind of just got to go around and really explore and talk to people um, in order to get work and missions and things like that, which is pretty cool. It's, it does make you, uh, it does immerse you in the world a bit more. Let me see. So, he just said he was to the north of here. I don't know. We'll set this one as our priority. So now we're running two mages, so I might have to change Polly up depending on how I like how this feels. Yeah, we're we're once again we're playing as the time wizard. Oh chat, real quick to important question, because me and the wife were talking about this earlier. Alright. And I need to know if it's if it's just me that does this, or is this pretty normal? Because she said it was weird that I do this. But um, this is this is a pretty important question. So I'm sorry for those of you guys trying to watch the gameplay, but I need to know this is this is this is important. So is there any of you guys that like take you know you take a drink like a glass, okay, and you fill it up with a drink like let's say it's juice, anything, all right, soda, whatever. So you fill your glass up, okay. Do any of you guys go ahead? You fill the glass up to the you know you fill it up to the top you take a sip of it right and then you replace the sip and then you put the drink away like does anybody else do that because i i do that like you know I, I i fill it up i take a sip but then you can't just then you got to replace the sip you know what i mean you can't just leave the sip out of the glass dude <laughs> Especially at the fountain machines. Okay, so I see some people that do it, some, some people that don't. I was gonna say, I feel like you have to replace the sip. Like, that's so savage to just go take a sip and then just leave it. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to do this. Um, That's so sick. Clots hold. Right, so the guy we're looking up for should be up here somewhere. That's everything assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Oi, did you need something? This dude's rude as shit. All right, let's give him the note. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? All right, let's have a look then. Fine. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as tis. So, and make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. What? Who the fuck is this dude to tell well, me what to do? Go on. You know what to do. Okay, so combine materials. You can combine two materials to create a new item. When combining, you can either choose to create materials individually or select the combination that you've previously tried. Um, you can prioritize in the inventory with materials. So it says right there, an apple and a, like a little plant thing makes some kind of potion. We 
we know what we're looking for, but not where it is. I suppose there's naught for it, but to start searching. Okay, so we need hair spuds and uh, salus, the salus burros draughts. Oh, what are these? Oh, what what is this? Is there a way to aim? Yeah, there's some kind of nasty ass eggs. Yeah, 150 gold right there. So I don't know how much of everything we needed though. Yeah, so we need three hair spuds and two draughts. Now, let me see. Combined with this, we'll do all three. Boom. Okay, so we got the the. Do we report back now? Now I need the hair spuds. Oh, I think I already got the hair spuds from looting earlier. Okay, awesome. So all we had to do is make those uh those heal potions and we're good. This dude didn't have to be such a dick about it. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Okay, so I only have. Yeah. Haven't you anything for me yet? What? Well, you best get to it then. So we only have the potions. It said a partial delivery was okay, um, but I wanted to find the all of it. We're just missing one hair spud. Screw it. Whatever. Let's go get the hell over it. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Oh, I, I do have three. Okay. It, a princess one. Okay, so we did. We did have everything we needed. Brilliant. I knew I could count on you. This dude's absolutely sh just ripping me right Here, now. Take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. Uh, so he gave me waking powder. Uh, doesn't really seem like it was worth all the heal potions, but okay. Hundred gold. We're making some decent money now, guys. We're, we're making some decent money. We're just doing a little bit of work around the camp right now, seeing if we can get some money up, get some good gear. But once you buy your new vocation, it actually gives you like the basic starter gear for it which really isn't all that bad. I don't know about you, master, but I'm worn out. 
Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? I, I don't know, because we're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> we're going to have to pay to rest. Now, granted, like, my permanent health is down, so obviously I probably should. Oi, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again, should the need arise. Our Damn, you paid us a 900 gold. Supplied, and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good deed all round. Look, we're putting in work. Were this not my duty. Trying to see if there's anything else we could do here in the camp. I'd hasten home, were this not my duty. What do you want? Yeah, why is everybody so rude? Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. What can I do you for? Alright, so I think that's all we could do here for right now. We'll start heading down south. We'll sleep once we get to town. Want to see how this mage feels in combat? Bereft of beasts and brigands both. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. So the cool thing is, is I can also heal myself. Goblins approach! Shit. seem to have come through unscathed. Yes, we can grab a bunch of apples here. So the hard thing about mazes when you first start is you have not a whole lot of defense and your, your attacks generally take a long... This one takes a long time to uh, charge up. But the damage was definitely there. Seems clear. There's no, there's no dodge. Cast. Oh, we're in trouble. Holy shit. Not happen again. Hey, 
just in the nick of time. Damn. I can't even get the cast off. I literally cannot even get the cast off. <sighs> yeah, it's that's that's rough, guys, especially when you get jumped like that. Yeah, if we had another pawn that could sit there and tank. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Um, we can hire her for free, actually. She's an archer, too. Oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. All right, so now we got, a, some now and we got another pawn. We'll see how this goes. Let's try that same fight again. Yeah, so when you have more people for the, the enemies to focus on, it gives me a chance to actually cast an incantation. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early gripping gets the worm, as they say. The range on that sucks. So as we get down to town, we got to get some better skills or... Uh, Yeah, when you can actually cast. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have, like, the worst possible skills in the world right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure the mage gets a lot cooler than this. Let's check the map here. So, yeah, we keep going down. We stick to the left this way. Oh, what the hell is that? Big shiny bug. Golden Trove Beetle. Not the big bustling castle I thought we were going to show up to. Another one of those beetles. Are you guys evil? Can I just come up here real quick? Okay, cool. I don't know if they were wild boar or pig. Like, they seem like they're not violent. Is this a grave area? Is this how they mark graves with the wood? <laughs> Patrick, have a good day, all right?
Yeah, we're in line. This place was actually shredded. Behold the state of the village. Tis a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth of this world. Pity See what this guy has for sale. Well met. Oh, uh, so he's got different arrow types, rings. We're up to 3,800 gold. The, this shit is way expensive, though. Like, get out of here, dude. Um,. And then for selling, I gotta make sure I'm careful with my uh, inventory. Consuming it could increase the weight one can carry. Oh shit. So consuming these beetles, is that like a permanent weight gain? Or is it temporary? We'll have to we'll have to mess around with that. Hope to see you again. That is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate. So this was us before? Yeah, Y'all suck. He's got to hit his little giblets down here. Yeah. That's how you kill a dragon shot. Trust me, I know. Didn't she look like that girl from Elden Ring?
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? No, we just seen that. You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. But you hung on and by some miracle survived. Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. So that scene in the beginning when we went to the castle, that was actually us? I am of the border watch. Someone with a risen like ability came to this village torn in tow. No you all to this. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. So is somebody pretending to be me? Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Nate with the raid, brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How you doing tonight, man? Who might have the answers we need? Should we ask around? I mean, we need to rest at the inn anyways. Let me see something real quick. So my main pawn, Polly here. Are you so eager to chat with me? I thought we did enough of that on the road. Who might have the answer? So can you not change your main pawn's, uh, like, vocation and stuff? I've only played Skyrim Valia. Yeah. Maybe you gotta do it at the inn. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh no, I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. 
I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? It's not my problem, kid. for me suppose there's no harm in that if you're really sure oh sir I'd be most grateful yeah, she just got the I'm scamming the shit out this dude face chat you know what I mean seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought I'll wait right here for your return sir and many thanks for your kindness uh, we haven't gotten to Fable 3 yet no veil we could make the fruit robberant ourselves, or simply purchase some at Runa's Apothecary, here in Mel. Ah, oh, yes, now I see. So, when it comes to making the uh, potion myself, I don't... What do you kind of just got to mess around? I wonder if there's actually, like... Go somewhere in the dark, outfit yourself with one of our lanterns. I wonder if you can find out what uh what makes what, you know what I mean? Ah, well met. Here for some fruit roberant, are we? I wonder if we can ask him what it's made Join out of. Amigas. They're mighty easy to make. Oh, Simple here we go. Combining the ingredients if you know what they are. Okay, what are they? Tween you amigas. They're mighty easy to make. Simple as combining the ingredients, if you know what they are. Alright, well tell me what the fuck they are, dude, or I'll cut your head off. Hmm. Damn, there's 600? Contains a bit of fruit. Consume and recover a great deal of health. Always a pleasure. Let me see here. So I wonder if it's going to be like ripened, bunch of grapes ripe, ready to eat, consume them for a small amount of health, bit of health. So I don't know if I, I got to do the grapes and something else, maybe? Uh, to draw its potent medical properties. So let's try this. Combine this. And draw oh, right there. And dried fruit and it gives you the fruit that's what we needed boom say we I, was able to, delivered. I was able to do it on my own hello again sir say have you brought some fruit robberant for me <sighs> she was 600 yeah oh so this is what it looks like Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. We'll see. Hopefully. My heart is light as a feather after that exchange. I don't think she's going to scam us, though, guys. You really ought to have returned by now. Well, Matt, you're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but... Oh, should we have followed that little girl? ...will grant you access to specialized training which sure. comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Okay. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. 
Very well. There is no wrong. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Damn. So the ma master teaching master teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a master's teaching requires use of a special tome, which we receive from Impressive Buddha. Um, so we got to impress the vocation master with your abilities. However, a true potential of a skill can only be realized by those vocation ranks uh, is high enough. Well, I gotta go find this little girl and get my fucking money. So this is where you've been. Shut up, people! Leave Come me alone. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? Hold on, where'd the little girl go? Is that her? Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. No, I don't have answers. First and foremost. Will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? I need time. Very well. Speak with me once you've finished your preparations. No, chat. We're good. We're good. She's right here. This is her, right? Is this little scam artist girl? Yeah, this is her. Come to think, thanks, sir. All right, little girl. How far do you live? Because, like... All right, keep walking. Chat, she's gonna walk so damn slow. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I said, Goblin to approach! Caution would be wise, but we ought not let it halt us in our course. <laughs> Indeed, it was enough to make one pity our foe. She said her grandfather would want to reward me proper, but we have no clue where the hell her village even is. Can't be too far away. How did this? How did such? That time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? So irresponsible of the parents here. Like, really got this little girl walking this way by herself. Yo, the archer does some monster damage, dude, compared to me. Oh, we got one of those fruit robberants. Rub those things are like 600 gold. for gathering items, and I'm ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. No, get out of here, dude. Why is everybody trying to get hired? All right, did that little kid keep him moving? Yep, there she is. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Holy shit, little kid. Where the hell does she live, guys? 
There's no way she lives at that outpost. The fact that she's actually walking all the way back and didn't just like disappear into the ether is kind of cool. I don't think she would have made it back on her own, dude. There's way too many goblins. And harpies. Confident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. All right, so little girls keep keeping them moving. I don't know. I feel like something's fishy, man. Heard sorcerer is better than and stronger than mage. Yeah, I think mage is more of a utility class. Sorcerer is probably more of an like offensive class. Cause mage is usually used for like the buffs, the heals, things like that. Oh, maybe this Our party is well balanced. I can see no weaknesses that might be exploited. So long as we remember to keep to our assigned roles. We shall be a united front in the face of any foe. I suppose it is so. But I don't I, I don't know if you have to upgrade to a sorcerer from a mage. I don't know how that works. Oh, it's a pretty big gate here. Little kid, you better not teleport through this gate. I swear I'll be so mad. Bro, open the damn how do you how do you get him to open the checkpoint? Halt. State your business. We've orders to keep this gate sealed till the watchhead returns. Well, shit, we followed this damn little kid for no reason. I wonder if um, the main mission's actually going to bring me up here to... Squeeze through one of the little holes in the gate check, kept it moving. I think that guy that we that we're with at the that the uh at the city down here might maybe is the watchhead. We'll see. Now we're not just gonna leave. There was a, uh, we're gonna go finish that talking to that guy in the inn, and then there was that lady on the outside too that wanted to talk to us. Time to get back to work. 
I'm just grateful I get to meet you. I'm in fine fashion. How am I to do? You really ought to have returned by now. Mayhap this time I went looking for. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Mad Max donated $20. What's up, Brian and chat? Been watching DD2 streams all day and had to stop by for this one, too. Looks like a cool game. Mad, thank you so much for the donation, bro. I really appreciate that, man. Seriously. No, I've been in, I've been in 1500 gold to rest, guys. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, so we can't change Polly's um, vocation also. So we got the archer vocation here. And then uh, we do got tons of points too. So we're going to try out archer also we're trying out a bunch of these right now guys just to kind of okay fundamentals of battle uh, press x to loose an arrow which will automatically target a nearby foe use l to aim in a specific direction tap x repeatedly to continue firing the same enemy uh, steady shot okay yo what's up with these dumbass hats though We'll keep Polly as the uh, team mage. The safer the roads, the heavier my pockets. Yeah, so right now, uh, let me see. Weapon skills, core skills, leaping. Whoa! Press Y while performing a running jump. Well, that is so sick. I don't want to waste any points yet on uh, skills like that because I still don't know who I want to what I want to play as. So we're kind of just rolling with the rough base yeah, versions of each vocation just so we can kind of get a feeling for all of them. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so there was another person here, right, that wanted me to... The Watchhead. Yeah, so that guy is the Watchhead, indeed. Explosive arrows. Turn by now. Mayhap this time I went looking for him. That place puts my ears. Yet if what were to befall him. Was this the lady I got my attention when we came out? Why I interest you in my humble wares? Let's see what she has. Uh so she sells food. Um we actually could buy some of this dried no, that shit's expensive. Uh rings. We won't worry Hope about buying anything right now. Yeah, a little Peter Pan get up here is not that cool. The hat is, it reminds me of a, a piss cutter from the Marines or the Navy. I'm about ready for a break. This dude, yeah. Hell, if you've a moment to spare, I'd like a word. As you can see, we're rebuilding a task that can always benefit from another pair of hands. What say you? Would you be willing to help? Yeah, why not? Excellent. You're a good sort. I'll not soon forget this. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. 
Though they're yet to cause any harm, their proximity makes the villagers uneasy. Saurians are the ones you had to cut the tails off, right? I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. So we've tried the uh, the thief, the mage, and now we're on to the archer. The only one we haven't tried yet is fighter. Uh, well, once we actually use the archer. Casks and left them by the village entrance. Use them to send the Saurians scattering. Saurians are monsters of fearsome strength, it is true, but I've yet to meet a foe that explosive casks can't scatter. Explosive casks. Make haste then. We must leave anon. Very well. Speak with me once you've finished your preparations. Yo, why is this dude like trying to get me to do so much stuff? Here we go. So what do we just throw him down at toward him? Bro, that, that didn't send him scattering. We blew them up. <laughs> I thought we were, like, scaring him off, dude. We scattered their body pieces. Well, that appears to have sent some of the beasts reeling, at least. To finish the job, I'd have you drop a jar of poison into their nest. What nest? There's nothing left. With luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer clear of the village boundary in future. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The villagers use that water on a daily basis. You must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. You'll find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest, and your task is done. A single jar of poison ought to send those Saurians packing. Only do be mindful not to spill any on yourself, Master. This doesn't... All right, let's get a little closer. Um, shit, dude. Let's say let's get a little closer for this one, but I think we could we could easily freaking throw that over there, right? Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands both? I cannot help but ache for a scrap. Uh. Expertly thrown, master. I'd wager those Saurians will think twice about nesting here again. Yeah, come on, Chet. You really Such thought I was worried about it? Proud to serve the Arisen. Yeah, I wonder if you can actually drop that into the You've river. You've done as I asked, I see. Many thanks for your efforts. And I must say, you have a fine arm. I couldn't have done better myself. You savage. I guarantee there's some of you in the chat that literally threw it in the water on purpose, dude, just to see what happens. <laughs> Watching you got me thinking. Mayhap you've the sense to inherit the skills I possess. <laughs> or perhaps it is a little early for such talk. In any event, thanks to the work you've done for us today, the rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace. And for that, I'm grateful. You found strength courses through. A resounding success. Done at last. You've my gratitude for the work you've done for us this day. Rebuilding efforts ought to proceed apace now. So he's a master. I don't know uh, at what though. All right, so let's let's talk to the watchman or the watch. He should uh make haste. Then we must leave anon. I think wherever he's gonna bring us, because I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring us up top there, is probably going to Good. uh. Then let us be on our way. Get that gate open, and we'll be able to meet up with that little girl. And her grandfather. Now, I wonder if because I already cleared the goblins going up this way, if they're going to still be cleared. And before I 
forget? Perhaps we might add a thief to our ranks. We've no need of a thief if we're content to overwhelm our foes with sheer force. I did not rest, no. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now. Yeah, it seems like everything's still clear. Awesome, so we already did all the hard work. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermont. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet, not all claims are true. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Bro, I got a giant hole in my chest that says otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, so all the enemies, we cleared them out already. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. The little girl squeezed through one of the holes. Chest, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Well, shit, then just leave me alone, dude. All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. I want to know where that gate went, dude. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Really, dude? Of course. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trying a bunch of different um, vocations right now. Uh, the thief had some pretty cool abilities. So we'll, we'll, there's a good chance we might switch back over to that. The mage too, you know, I'm pretty sure as you level up, get some pretty crazy stuff. But as of right now, we're uh, kind of just testing shit. Modest camp kit oh let's all right so i gotta i gotta i enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items i am let's go ahead and give her some of this equipment
So we'll give this to Polly. When we get to the end again, we're gonna we're gonna uh empty out my inventory a little bit. Would I recommend this game? Oh yeah. Yeah, if you like these style like RPGs and stuff, this game is phenomenal. It's gorgeous. What the fuck? Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. So many guys, I can't even get a chance to attack anything. So we also got the barrage shot. Okay, so how do you do this with the controller? Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. So that's the barrage shot, uh, I see. That's the, yeah, that's the barrage shot that does that. Or steady shot, that's what it's called. How do you do the steady shot on... Okay. picking things up, aren't you? A 
big goblin here. Let's take him out. Actual shit out of that dude. And we reared back in everything on that kick. Damn, that was just 1,500 gold back there. go Cyclops Five. A Cyclops to think we'd encounter one here of all places Cyclops right be on your guard her all my explosive arrows. seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this. 
as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the Sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. We can join them. I wonder if I can loot this guy. Why, tis a treasure in the truest sense. Master, do take care not to throw it away by mistake. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Yeah, we could join them. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Is this that Oregon Trail chat? Polly, get in. Um, time is ever flowing in river in the world. The activities, behaviors of inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long uh, and may only appear in the morning, at night, or midday. To pass the time, you can either stay in the, at an inn or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. So the, the seat we sat on could pass time. You'll be able to see no f uh, further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril, um, and make sure you have a lantern. Okay, so the passage of time. Some items that can be gathered will change over time, such as ripening or growing more flavorful. Um, there are also items if allowed to age long enough will become more useful when combining materials. That is crazy, Chet. Um, however, you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a set amount of time has passed. Similarly, fruits, berries, and other garable flora will grow back after time. Let's doze off. Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Goblins approach! Leave it to me! Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. Get these bodies real quick. Mm, let's just get in. I don't want to risk losing my ride. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. 
Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad source. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. What? I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the Sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your Majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. Yeah, so she, <coughs> she ain't gonna be happy, chat, if she finds out. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Damn, 6,000 gold. So let's see what the hell is this. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Son it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Or lie. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Okay, so where is the inn in this town? 
So this is the ox cart. I'll take it. We can ride this probably from city to city. <coughs> So it looks like we have a weapon store there, an armor store here. I want to find an inn because I need to go square away my inventory. Yep, there's the end up here. Okay. I've heard some in greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Give seekers tokens? What is that? Uh oh, so seekers tokens gets you like really cool gear, I guess. Always a pleasure. So is this not the inn? No, this is the inn. Peruse at your... Well, mate, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all... 2,000? Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, we got so much stuff. Right, so we're going to store up some of this stuff real quick just so we can get our inventory figured out because we, we have so many resources. Uh, we're going to come and take all this stuff back out and probably craft up some stuff, but for right now I'm just trying to get inventory cleaned up. Keep the lantern... Okay, and then Polly had this camp thing on her, and then her gear. All right, we're good. Much obliged. This inspires naught but misgivings. All right, so we'll talk to this vocation dude again. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught... Oh, this one has extra ones, chat. This one has the sorcerer. Oh, that looks so cool. Um... But what do I need for this one? I know I have enough of the... Oh, I need a master. Yeah, so there's warrior and sorcerer here. Um, the sorcerer does look pretty sick. Then I got warrior, which is like big two hands. All right, let's let's go back to our thief.
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to need some uh, weapon skills here. We'll get the Kindle Blades. We'll put that on there. Um, get the Cloak. Put that on there. Core skills. The Slashes. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Oh shit, so if we can get our own weapon, we can we can get the skills then. Okay, so we got the core skills there. And then augments of subtlety. 300. Seems a little expensive. All right, so we'll roll with that for right now. He thinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. Roderick? He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. We'll not find anything if we don't start looking. All right, hell yeah. So let's go talk to Roderick real quick, because that will open up the sorcerer for us. We have the barber there so we can change our appearance. Wonder if this armor has uh Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need. This ain't the guy we need to talk to. So before you check the price, just remember misers die early deaths. It's a pretty cool looking hood. It's 8,000 though. The Unseen Shadow. So the only one we could wear is this hunter's mail and the ranger's vest. Whoop. And then out of the headpieces, we could we could only wear this unseen shadow one. The only problem though is it I like I don't mind this one. It looks cool as shit, but I don't have uh like any other gear that really vibes with it, you know what I mean? And he doesn't sell anything that vibes with it. That's pretty cool. Slightly boosts maximum health. Um, increases the amount of weight that we can carry. All right. Looking for a craftsman? I'm a master of my trade. So he, they all, they have the gear enhancement, like the first game. Um, required materials are what? Just gold?
And now the second level requires uh, copper ore. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. So he said to look for a guy named Roderick over at the armor shop, and I'll take it that this, this might be this guy. Yep, this is Roderick Smithy. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. It, losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? Okay, let's see what he has for weapons. So the throat cutters are quite nice daggers. Um, and they're quite cheap. The stilettos are even better. Fifty three hundred though. We got we got money. Let's stop being cheap. We'll buy these. And then we'll in, see if we can enhance these for yep. So we'll enhance those. Um these ones we need slate colored horns in order to get it up to the next level. Now it seems like as is the rogue. I can also use a bow, the bow. No, okay, I can't. You said this mission's out to the west area. Crew weapon wishing. Let's see, so uh, we'll go out this gate here. Oh, she said her stomach was complaining. I didn't know if she was saying that she was hungry or she fucking shit. Yeah, so that's the cloak that makes me invisible. That shit's so sick. Because it's more like camouflage instead of like... You know, like actually going invisible. Well, that wasn't the homecoming I envisioned. I knew the village would be in a bad way. But neither did I expect to see an entire bask of Saurians picking out a bones. In what to do? Look, master! Goblins! Caution would be wise, but we will not let it hurt us in our course. I was like, who the fuck is this dude? Alright, so it's actually getting quite dark out right now. How do, how do I equip my lantern? Is there not like a quick button to do it? Yeah. So how do you use the lantern? No, gas dash. Wait. Pause menu. I don't see control for lantern. Oh, 
Oh, it's just on me. Okay, so you just turn it on. I'm tracking. So the question is, should we... No, nah, we shouldn't do this at night. Uh, it gets really, really dark in these games. I don't know if this one is the same as the first. Oh, it was so bad. And then all the zombies and skeletons and shit show up. But it's going to cost, like, what, 2000 to pass time? They really hit you over the head with these damn inns, don't they? Yeah, we could pass time on this bench right here. For free. Free 99, baby. Here we go. Oh, the camping gear too. Yeah, Dean, that, that's a good point. Yeah, we could probably set that up and kind of rest anywhere. So the fire daggers are pretty good. D goblins are weak to fire. Oh, they're, oh, are these the people talking about? That wasn't the homecoming I envisioned. They're talking about this village down here. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Those dudes hit so hard, man. We should see more fights if not get done. I don't suppose begging for a reprieve would get as far with one of this lot. are at your disposal! So one of these dudes will be happy that we cleared the village for him. 
850 on gold there. Oh, I'm tired. Poison there. I literally debuff myself. I don't know how long the debuffs last either. What if I gotta go in the water and like rinse it off? Yeah, being tired just yep there we go so now we're getting better oh so when you're shadow cloaked it it um eats away at your stamina Uh, number six, thank you for the eight months. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Harpies. What the fuck is that? What do you want? I mean, what do you want? What are you all doing? Something weird going on up there. real quick. Damn, these heal pots do nothing. Get out of here. We got we got the loot. Oh my pawn is down. 
Did she fall off? I think her ass literally fell off the tower. Yep. I want to check out this ring that we just got. The ring of awareness. Um, reduces the acclimation of the wearer's sleep value. So that means uh, harpies will have a harder time knocking us out. Okay, we'll follow this road down this way. Does, didn't the chimeras also put you to sleep? I don't remember. I don't. Maybe it wasn't the chimeras. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. We must each of us hone our skills. I suppose you'll be wanting my help. Oh, very well. All right. Got to heal up. Well, she needs to heal up. We are going to have to Thanks. rest here soon. Good. So good. What are my thoughts on the game is dope as shit. Oh, what the fuck is that? Looks like something we need to leave alone. Now you gotta be careful because they did say bridges can be destroyed. And you actually have to wait for them to be repaired. My movement's a bit better. <laughs> Nick, with the hey, how you doing, brother? With the thigh shredded like button. It was good to see you, man. I had some real good luck with those boxes yesterday. I didn't get any SIRs really. I got like one, but I was able to complete the whole base master set. 
Uh, with only three of the boxes, dude. It was really good. I'm probably like 80% done with the whole Temporal Forces set. Okay, so that looks like where we gotta go. your rig i have a 2080 t and i'm getting 40 fps um i got a 4090 uh so oh yeah somebody posted my specs uh, yeah my Ooh, talents no. lie in combining materials and i'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time oh that's pretty cool so what he just automatically makes um Shall we discuss tactics now or later? Specializations are skills that can be acquired by pawns are strictly beneficial. Yeah, so this dude automatically crafts things when you put them in his inventory. That's pretty dope. So now I got all four followers, right? It seems we must venture to Trevor Mine. Yep. I believe it lies to the northwest of Vernwith. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. Bro, relax. Well, if you insist. You just got here, dude. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Ah, oh, Dagner, man. I hope that everything goes good. I hope you're not laid up for too long. That sounds like something's going to be laid up for a little bit. I'm hoping you feel better after the fact. We're unlikely to find any warm hearths down here. What are okay, so this was the quest location, right? I wouldn't give for a map, particularly one that could tell us where all the treasure lies. No quarrel here. Goblins, master! One cannot be too careful. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Yo, this dude is the bomb. Thanks, dude. The we actually... walls are too close for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we would be at a disadvantage. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. Let us conclude our business in the pit of this place. There is not to be gained from lingering. An exemplary performance. Would that we might always be so in step, eh? Actually, a race in all of these dudes, man. Battle is best avoided here.
chat. I feel like I'm doing good damage. Is it me or, or I don't know? Maybe my team's doing good damage. I feel like that was that was all me though. Got a two hander. Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that, thank you. This dude talking a lot of shit. <laughs> now Jacob's putting in some deep stuff. Yeah, Jacob's putting in some skill. So much for that bridge. So much for the bridge. My man just pulled a whole pickaxe out of. Is as broken as it seems, then I'm afraid we've no recourse but to find another way around. Forgive me if I do not jump for joy. I mean, our main goal here is to find the stolen shipment of weapons. Pushing on without rest isn't ideal. I'm dead on my feet. I fear for our chances if we were to be set upon now. Yo, how's this dude non-stop complaining? Like, he just got here. place is fucking huge. Okay, so we missed two turnoffs down that way. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result. In different creations. Let me see. Yeah, so we're actually getting a good bit of copper. One cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Another encounter? I ill like this. We are already hard pressed from our previous engagement. Yo, how do I get that that backstab attack though? I think it might be an. Is it, I wonder if it's an ability. Ring of cooling. Reduces damage taken from fire attacks. The flicker of a shadow. The gleam of an eye, the echo of a footfall. 
If we hone our senses, no foe shall escape us. Pray. Speak up, should you notice or to miss. Read it dead, dude. Okay, let's see. Was there any chests around here? I didn't see anything. Me thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. I say we give it a push and see what happens. What boulder? Oh, this one? Master? Oh, you gotta hit the grab button. I shall not fail you. Oh, uh, okay. So if I would have pushed those boulders right there, um, like I'm tracking. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. What are y'all talking about? Okay, so that was a loop there. So we go back up this way, and then there was a right-hand turn we could have took. We must respect our master's wishes. It is... These pawns low-key talk all the shit, chat. Yeah, it wouldn't let me through here. Let me get that. Okay, so from the looks of it, it looks like we've checked every way I could go minus this door here. So I thought that this was the spot for the mission. So it's, oh damn, man, it's dark as hell outside. We could test out that campsite, but I don't know if there's specific. I know there's somewhere you have to. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. I've just about breathed my fill of stagnant air. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. It's no great shock to me. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle. 
Right, let me get that campsite from my... I didn't store it, did I? Nope, there it is. Polly, come here. Where is Polly? There she is. As your pack becomes heavier, so too does your step. Perchance, you ought to let a few things go. Okay, so now we're going to try to see if we can use this. No, so I don't know. It says in suitable locations. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? I shall fly to your aid, master. So I wonder what they classify as a suitable location. Yeah, so I don't know what they consider a suitable location to use those. Uh, the Oh, the unlit campfires. That makes sense. Yeah, I've actually seen a couple of those around. I don't know where the closest one to where I am, though, is. Yeah, I, I, I recall exactly what you're referring to. Yep, yep, yep. Getting pretty decent XP though, fighting these dudes at night. I'm actually going the wrong ass way right now. Yep, see though, so there's one right there. I love the verticality, verticality in this one. Harpy. That sounds like a far drop, though. And I can't see. Ow. Ah, 
I've an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Oh, well. That's quite a discovery. The campfire right there, dude. Too bad it can't fucking see. Oh, here we go. A solitary shard is good for little. We need to seek out more of these if it is to be of use. My field of battle is what you pick us against our fellow. Whoa. Okay, so that wasn't a campfire like I thought. Oh no, it is. Okay, we can't we make camp here. By the skin of our teeth. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. We need to rest so bad, dude. Oh, we just unlocked some plate armor, which we could give to Jacob. Yeah, let's make a camp here. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. You can pitch your tents. It'd be prudent to eliminate any foes that are coming by. Neglect is going to heighten the chance of an ambush. I fear for our chances if we were to be set upon now. Shit, look at that. to start the day off off we go then yeah, so feeling rested i trust able to set up our own little camp here that was that was nice we got our health all the way back up that, that was that was good all right guys we're gonna end this here though um it's getting wicked wicked late i wanted to check this out today um well tonight but we'll definitely be playing more over the next few days uh, we also got a new game that we'll be checking out tomorrow morning which is uh rise of the ronin um so i'm pretty excited to get check that one out too so uh remember guys if you are enjoying dragon dogma 2 and you want to see more oh yeah just smash that like button subscribe to the channel drop a comment down below too if you guys are in the live chat right now um pop in drop a comment let me know what you guys thought and uh yeah again i appreciate all the love and support it means the world to me <clears throat> Let's see uh lunar with the super chat uh game so far is pretty damn awesome dude uh it's a lot like the first one um i feel like it's obviously a lot more fleshed out than the first one but uh yeah it's it's the combat's nice the only thing i'm having issues with right now with the combat is the camera i feel like the camera could be a bit more uh like lock on but uh, I find myself when I get real close quarters with people, I'm kind of all over the damn place. So yeah, I do feel like if they uh, if they did have the camera a bit better, it would be nice. Uh, so when am I starting tomorrow? Pretty early, Arizo. Probably 11 or so. I'm aiming for maybe 10, 11 in the morning. We'll probably be trying to get that first stream going.
Yeah, give my pawn new skill. Yeah, we're going to have to try to uh, maximize all that. All right, guys, thank you again. Uh, we will. I, I got it set up to raid over to Dust Town, so if you guys do end up going over to Dust, make sure you spam that like button over there. Spam the chat. Let them know I sent you guys. Um, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate the love and support. It means the world to me. I hope I'll see a bunch of you guys tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow, we're going to be checking out Floof. Also, I've seen um, Floof with the 25 months, dude. Jesus Christ. Uh, absolutely ridiculously awesome, man. Um, tomorrow, we'll be checking out Rise of the Ronin. I'm not sure what else we'll be doing along with that, but we'll be playing some stuff tomorrow. So, All right. You guys have a great rest of your night. Remember, say hi to Dust for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.